Many times when we read the news and we see what's happening around, we see that there is death. And although death is falling, the rates are falling now, we see that it's still there. And it can be a very, very painful time if we don't know how to deal with it, especially because some people are not able to physically see the ones that they love before they go. They're not able to speak to the ones that they love before they go. And many times people go into the hospitals not knowing if they're going to come out. So when we chant this Mahamrityun Jaya Mantra, it is the mantra of healing, the mantra which will liberate us from death, not only physically, not only mentally, but spiritually. And what does that mean to be free from death? Does that mean that my body will never die? In the Bhagavad Gita, it says that everything that is born must die. From the body standpoint, it is inevitable that when a body comes to the world, it will go through different stages. It will go through growth. It will go through decay. It will go through death. So what is born must die. And from the body level, we can't avoid that. So even if you and I try to do everything we can to stay alive, when our time comes for the body to go, it will go. So from the body standpoint, it happens. From the jiva standpoint, from the individual, how does one take this body one takes this body as a costume. So just like when we go to sleep, we wear something else. When we wake up, we change our clothes after we take a shower and we wear something else. If we go for a walk, we wear sweats. In and through different lifetimes, we actually wear different bodies. So at some point in time, this body will wear out just like a costume means it wearing out means it can't express anymore the desires that i want to fulfill and when that happens when this body wears out then that individual that jiva will need to take up another body just like us taking up another pair of clothes so it is bound to happen but know that I, the individual, is different from this body. So from the individual standpoint, it's like changing clothes, moving to another realm, moving to another life. And from the absolute standpoint, as I mentioned before, actually, we can't die. Actually, we can't get sick. Actually, as pure awareness and pure consciousness, Nothing can happen to you. Now, if you and I are abiding in that knowledge, then we are already free. There's nothing to be afraid of. So when we say, free us from this death, free us from this disease, we're actually already free. But we're praying to realize that we are ever free. Please remind us that we are ever free. Please remind us that from the body level, this has to go. You can't live forever at the body level. From the individual or jiva level, please remind us that this is just a costume that we have to take very good care of. But at some point in time, it's going to wear out and I'm going to need to wear another body. And from that absolute standpoint, Please remind me that actually, Bhagavan, I never die because my real nature is exactly who you are, which is birthless, Najayate, which is deathless, Namriyate. And therefore, I'm ever alive. So if it so happens where we are stuck in a situation where we have to deal 
with someone close to us passing, where we have to pass, if this knowledge kicks in at the right time, then we will not grieve. Bhagavan Krishna says, Ashochan anvashochastvam pragnyanam pragnyavadan shabhashase katasuna katasunsha na anushochanti pandita means the wise who possess this knowledge deeply, they never grieve. They may feel sad. They may have tears roll down their eyes. They may miss their loved ones, but they won't get bogged down by this grief. So when we pray today, may we realize that we are actually already free. And if by chance you and I have to go through something or have to face a situation, then bring this knowledge to mind and it will give you a lot of solace. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the mantra. Find a quiet place where you can sit and just be. And we'll start with three ohms. Om. Relax your feet, your ankles, relax your legs, knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Your stomach. Chest. Your heart center. everything go relax your lower back your upper back shoulders arms Hands. Relax your neck, your face, forehead, the tip of your head. Just relax. Your entire body. Just relax. Relax. Inhale freedom, knowledge, and exhale ignorance, death, 
and to see. Inhale freedom, knowledge. Exhale ignorance, death, and disease. Inhale freedom, knowledge. Exhale death, disease, ignorance. 